Okay, so there's another delivery. The Think Center, Lenovo Think Center M90P, I think that says. Yep. Core i5, V Pro, Windows 7. It should have 4 gigabytes of RAM. No idea how you get into it. That by the looks of it. Uh, I'll go flip it upside down to turn it over. Let's see how you upgrade it in that. Not that I'm going to upgrade it, but well, I'll have to put a video card in it. But I think it's got enough RAM for me. A bit dusty. Ooh. So dim. I think they're so dim, don't they? Laptops, so if you wanted to replace them, you just pop them out like you would a laptop one, pull them out, new ones in. I don't know if this is. Oh, uh, I'll have to check out later what all the statistics are. I'm going to start making guesses and make myself look like a fool. SATA, that's what I bought it for. The other project I had was an IDE, and it's just. You really need a SATA SSD these days. And that's what I'm going for with this. Damn, that's bad news. It's only got PCI. And that's no good then. I can't use this for what I need it for. I needed a PCIe Express card, that's bad. Should have checked that out on the internet first. Now what? For the price I pay for this, it's worth it. I want this for £22. Fucking, uh, sorry, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous to get a, a computer this good for that sort of price. You know, you can't get a pair of shoes these days for 20 quid. But anyway, there's the hard drive. Which I'll probably replace with an SSD. 250 gig. if you want to replace that, that's like you just. Oh, that easy. Pull the tray out, unclip the wires. That's only two wires that just pull out, you know how to do a starters. The CD player looks a bit harder to change. There's probably a screw that, that side of that. Nope. Okay, so I have no idea how that comes out. It's upside down, isn't it? Probably this front bezel comes off, unscrew it, you might have to remove this to pull that back. So actually that looks like one of the hardest jobs changing the DVD D ROM. But luckily if it, as long as it works, you don't need to do that very often. So that's how you upgrade the RAM and the hard drive. That's all you need to know. No PCI Express card for a video card. So that's bad. I need that as well for editing and stuff like that. Oh, what? really nice computer, looks like just like a laptop motherboard really, or, no I suppose it's ATX, with sodium, really poor fan, I'd like to see the temperature of the CPU when it's working full blast, but anyway, looks good, easy to upgrade, shame about the PCI Express slot, but for the price I pay for this, I ain't bothered. This is computer number 10. We've got to start selling some, it's getting ridiculous.